Kama hiki a koto kua wehi atu e Kua tai atu ki te marae o te wairu aranga tira e He muhi atu ki a koto o kutu puna kua wehi atu ra It was a very interesting thing to do, to be uh, working with the local community, talking to them about their housing. Uh, most of the people had huge concerns about uh, their, their housing conditions and um, often they weren't in a position to uh, put insulation into their houses themselves. So for us to offer um, free insulation as well as uh, looking at housing and health um, criteria, they were more than willing to offer their time and their houses to, to do that. <laughs> when a friend of mine rang me about it and I said, oh, how much? Yeah. Nothing. I said to her, beg your pardon? She said, no, nothing, because it costs you nothing. And at the back of my mind, oh, no one will do anything for you and for nothing. Um, we weren't using our dryer as much because that's what we'd use as well for heating. Um, we didn't need for like heaters, we didn't use heaters much anyway, but yeah. um, and we cut down well. I, I use a lot of um, electric blankets, yeah, but um, that was very much yeah, that was cut down immensely. Kia ora katoa, my name is Joanne Robinson, Ani and I'm the community coordinator for Hei Kainga Oranga and today we're at Kahanunu Marae about ready to go on to um, be pōwhirid and we're, what we're doing today is, is quite an exciting time for us because we're here in Kahanunu country to take our results back of our insulation study. Probably 95% of them are really happy with the research project and the other 5% are probably those that are just typical moaners anyway. They're never <laughs> going to be satisfied with anything, no matter what. Um, I'm Tumanako Taurima. Um, do you want my age? I'm um, 85 plus. I was always in a hospital with either bronchial pneumonia or bronchitis or something. Now I come to think of it, it must have been the house. I'm not saying this as a joke. I'm quite serious about it. It was quite warm this winter. Hi, I'm Bernice Taylor. I live in Hara. I've lived here all my life. At the moment I'm not working, so I spend a lot of time at home inside. I suffer from mild asthma, yeah. and I would say definitely in the last 12 months, uh, it's certainly a lot better. I used to have one, the worst room of the house for mould I would say would have been my bedroom, it was on the south end of the house and I always had a feeling of dampness and that's gone and there's that um, musty, musty sort of damp smell and that's gone. Okay. Yeah my name is Norway Paco and I've been living in Taranaki, New Zealand. Yeah all my life. In the past when I had all my kids we would light the fire and then because it's so cold and we would sleep in, in my sitting room all of us together yeah. and then sometimes we we're all sitting in our seats next thing everybody's pulling their seats up in front of the fire yeah. to get the, the warmth and then anyone go out of the room close the door and anybody come in hurry up close that door it's cold, it's drafty, yeah. but since I've had it insulated, it's the other way around. Leave the door open, don't close the door. collected temperature. We had little loggers uh, that we put in people's houses to see how the what the temperature in the houses were and how much dampness there was in the house. I think 
um, a, a key element of this research has been that um, compared to a, a lot of research that I've been involved in and many others have been involved in in the past, where we've gone uh, to communities or to individuals, asked them lots of questions, um, perhaps collected specimens or whatever, and then gone away and analyzed it and, and published it. The, the difference here is that this has been an intervention. It's had participation from the community. Many public health issues can only be addressed by a cooperative effort and any project that achieves that takes us a step towards better community health and well-being. All of these are positive things. So this is a positive outcome uh, that this study shows. The second thing is that I understand members of the community were employed to identify participating households, conduct interviews, install the installation, <coughs> and do follow-up surveys, so the research project provided additional benefits to the community in terms of work and income, new skills and knowledge, and stronger community networks. And for those that have been involved in the research, they've had, obviously, a benefit from it. So I think that it's very important that uh, we continue that sort of process. When we went back to re-interview people, um, it was a delight to find out how much the installation had actually worked in people's houses and things like um, they felt a lot warmer, they were a lot happier, um, they could sit around watching TV without being in sleeping bags and without woolen hats on their heads. Um, the general well-being was a lot more positive. Yeah, good morning. And my name's Alberta Hunger. I was the coordinator for the Kainga Ōrungo program in the Nuhaka Whakahi area. I went around to all the households that were that were uh, insulated and some family, because you had to, part of the interview, you had to interview each member of the family. Yeah. And some homes had about, um, or at least 10 in a house. <laughs> Well, we had one young couple, had four ch children, chronic asthmatics. Um, they get flown out every winter, you know, two or three times. Yeah, they're on steroids and they're quite um, needy. They're quite needy family. And they just couldn't afford to put a, a roof in to put the bats in. You couldn't put the bats and leaves in there. Yeah. You know, you just couldn't do it. And so, thankfully, we, we started them off on the project because they said they'd really try hard by the time it came round that they would have a roof in. Well they weren't picked the first year. Yeah. So that gave them a bit of breathing room but they still didn't have enough money to um, insulate so they didn't get insulated in the end. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well you know Ma here is a, um, a fairly depressed area um, and there just isn't the money around for um, considered luxuries like insulation. Um, however, once I've had it done, they yeah. think, why didn't I get this done sooner? Because yeah. <laughs> it's made such a huge difference. Cool. And, and I don't think people have actually had correlated warmer housing with health as well. I think that was quite a big um, enlightenment for people. With most of the marais that are getting done up now yeah. for insulation and stuff like that, it would be good to see um, people that donate like to Puni Kokiri and stuff like that into the marais as well. Yeah. So as in the insulation on the top and around, around in the walls, I reckon that would be really good. This is Aina Lawata and that's my husband. Our house is, is one of the dampest in Peru. Yeah. My daughter used to get um, flu almost every winter. Really? Yeah. yeah. And sometimes we we like going to see the doctor every um, three months. Yeah. But since we had that insulation in, in our house, we, we haven't seen the doctor this year. 
and we got a carpet too from the house in New Zealand. They, they came and put a new carpet in and as soon as we had that survey. Really? I think it's helped us a, a lot. Yeah. Mm. I just wanted to say thank you for the people to, to help me and my family to to get there. We don't know how we got it, but <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Well, um, well, for me, as a Jehovah's Witness, I'd like to say that what, what happened is like a foretaste what I believe in, in the future. How everybody be happy and content because this is what the Bible promised and that's what I like for everybody to be content and happy.